How are you enjoying the flight on Pelican Sam Airlines, Freddy? A lot, Sam. You know, it was really great of your Uncle Blenny to invite us to the Founders Day Festival, Luther. Well, Uncle Blenny says that I'm his favorite nephew. And you know I'd never take a special trip like this without my best friend, Freddy Fish. Smooth landing. Luther. Thanks for the lift, Sam. Have a good time. Here, Pelican Sam, have you heard about the little shrimp that got a job weighing vegetables? Weighing vegetables? That seems like a big job for a little shrimp. Yes. But he's only doing it on a small scale. <laughs> Thank you for flying Pelican Sam Airlines. The airline that never eats its customers. Hey, Pelican Sam. I've got a riddle. What kind of fish is the brainiest? Do you give up? A sturgeon. The brainiest kind of fish is a sturgeon? Yeah. A brain sturgeon. Ah, uh, Luther, you're lucky you're friends with Freddy. I hope you enjoyed flying Pelican Sam Airlines, where your bill is never as big as mine. How are things going? Swimmingly, Sam. Just swimmingly. Hey, Pelican Sam. Why is it that goldfish are a reddish colour? I give up. Because the water makes them rusty. At Pelican Sam Airlines, we never leave you up in the air. Here, Pelican Sam, what's the difference between an electric eel and a can of green beans? I don't know, Luther. Well, if you don't know, Sam, I'm not coming to dinner at your house. Hey, Pelican Sam. Why is it that goldfish are a reddish colour? I give up. Because the water makes them rusty. I wonder what will happen if I pull this plug. Oh! Great job! I knew you could pull it off. Get it? Pull off? Oh, Luther! I'd better hold on to this. One never knows when a plug might come in handy. I'll have a great singing voice. Want to hear? Uh, not right now. Maybe later. Visiting new places is really exciting. Ready? You're my best friend. Luther! Freddy! Over here! Uncle Blenny? Uncle Blenny, what are you doing in prison? Well, Luther, the great conch shell was stolen. The Founders Day Festival can't start without it. Since I'm the grand exalted keeper of the conch, I'm the prime suspect. But I didn't do it. Here, here's a diagram of the conch shell before it was taken. The priceless conch had three golden pipes, but they may have fallen out. 
And here's a picture of all the people who were nearby when the crime happened. There's Jill Barker, Claw, Nadine the Narwhal, Rosie Pearl, Pierre the Tailor and Horst Feathers the Tourist. Can't your dogfish sniff out the thief? Old Soggy's sniffer ain't what it used to be. But if he can smell the three golden pipes, he can pick up the scent. We'll find the three golden pipes, Uncle Blenny. You're my only hope, nephew. You and your friend, Freddy Fish. Are you going to be okay? I will. Once you and Freddy clear my good name. Okay, old Soggy. What do we do when we find the baddie? <laughs> That's my plan too. Luther. Our founder is shown holding his most precious gift to our community, the Great Conch, containing the three golden pipes. This is the statue of our founder. It is in his honor that we hold the annual Founders' Day Festival. The Great Conch that our founder holds is a one-of-a-kind shell. There are no others like it in the entire ocean. The great conch that our founder holds is central to the Founders' Day Festival. A blast from the great conch begins the celebration. Our founder is one of the most beloved figures in our town's history. Without him, our town would not even exist. Excuse me, but are you a tailor? Not just a tailor. I am Pierre, the tailor. When Pierre mends the things, they are better than you. So, if something was torn into a million, billion, teeny little pieces, could you fix it back together? Oh, with my eyes closed, floating on the head, and with both the fins tied behind my back. Do you know I am the greatest tailor in the whole wide world? No, but if you hum it, I'll join in. Lufa! Do you know who has the great conch shell? No, I do not. But it is absurd to think that the great Pierre would take it. Where were you when the great conch shell was stolen? Oh, this is preposterous. I was here all day, sewing the costumes for the festival. Did you see anything unusual yesterday? I was sewing all the day. However, there was a little lobster who was very near the great conch shell. I presume you came here because you wish for me to make for you the designer clothing, no? No, thank you. But uh, do you realize that you are running around without the clothes? Of course. We're fish. You wouldn't have seen the great conch shell, would you? Oui, oui, oui. Yes. I saw it just last year at the Founders' Day Festival. We were thinking of something a little more recent. I do not have time for the rubber knickers. Huh? I haven't worn rubber knickers since I was a baby. Luther, he said rubber knickers, not rubber knickers. Oops, silly me. Whether you desire the evening gown or the mini skirt, 
Pierre can create for you the ultimate fashion statement. Thanks, but I think I'd look a little silly in a miniskirt. That's because you're a fish, Luther. You wouldn't have seen any suspicious characters hanging around, would you? The only new face I've seen around town has been the foreign tourist, uh, Ost Feders. Did you see anything unusual yesterday? I was sewing all the day. However, there was a little lobster who was very near the gr There's a golden pipe, Freddy. Ah! Ah! Uh-oh. I broke it. No, you didn't, Luther. We just need to find a way to make the handle stay on. That handle will fall off again unless we find something to hold it on. <laughs> Look, a purple sea urchin. Freddy, how come there are no pink polka dotted sea urchins? But there are. They live in the secret sea, where everything is pink and polka dotted. You just made that up, didn't you? Uh-huh. Look, Freddy, there's something behind that water bowl. Wait, look up! <laughs> Phew! That knocked the wind out of me. Me too. We're just going to have to find another way to get through that waterfall. <laughs> Freddy, this log looks a bit like a tunnel. And it seems to be stuck in the mud. Ah! <sighs> If we can get this log out of the mud, maybe we could build a tunnel. I wonder where we could find something to help us get it. Hey, Luther! Do you see what I see? Purple sea urchin! Is there anything I can get for you two? Not right now, thanks. By the way, name's Magenta. I'm Luther, and this is Freddy Fish. <laughs> Mmm. <laughs> you know what my favourite food is? Worm doodles. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I can see we won't be having dinner together in the near future. Would you like to try a banana? No, thanks. I already had a big bowl of krill toasties for breakfast. Fish come in so many beautiful colours. That's one of the things that makes each of us so special. So, Luther, what do you want to be when you grow up? Bigger! So, what are you guppies up to? We have to find a stolen conch shell and get me Uncle Blenny out of prison. Sounds like you've got your hands full. Good luck! Is there anything I can get for you two? Not right now, thanks. Hmm, 
Hmm. Hi, my name is Luther, and this is my best friend, Freddy Fish. I am Horst Feathers, I am. I can help you too, no whistle. That phrase book leaves something to be desired. Why would anybody want to frame Uncle Blenny for stealing the great conch shell? The lobster claw. Nasty he is. For fun, you might steal. Why did you steal the great conch shell? It was me, no not. Why I come here? The festival of founders was. Nice weather we're having. Baseball, the best restaurant is. Hmm, that phrase book isn't 100% accurate, is it? Have you seen the great conch shell? First, see not the great shell conch. I've been at the volcano, look. How long are you staying? They're like nothing is hairy dogfish. That book doesn't seem to be too useful for foreign phrases. But it sure is good for a laugh. Are you in town for the festival? No business like show business there is. I suspect our friend doesn't quite have the hang of using that phrase book. Are you enjoying your holiday? I corn have up my nose. I predict that phrase book is going to make this a very interesting trip for our friend. Do you come here every year for Founders Day? Mmm, just the aroma smell. I don't think the people who wrote that phrase book speak our language either. Have you found any good postcards? My poodle excellent kilometers per liter gives. That phrase book leaves something to be desired. Oh, who would steal the great conch shell? The Barker Gill to himself all the customers he wants. Maybe the great conch shell he stole. You're not dressed like other people around here. Where are you from? Hi, in the land of plenty, Elias. I suspect our friend doesn't quite have the hang of using that phrase book. Do you know of any good places to eat around here? I cook his leg with squid. Hmm. That phrase book isn't 100% accurate, is it? Luther, no! Ouch! If we want those pliers, we'll have to find a safer way to get them out of that plant. We don't want to prick ourselves on that plant. There has to be a way to protect ourselves so we can get those pliers. There must be a safe way to get those pliers. <laughs> <laughs> 